and today we will be talking about supplemental examination. And before we dive right into the uh, procedure, we have our friend Billy Chupu, who is also a third year uh, with us, who will be talking about placenta. Placenta is organ that connects the developing fetus to the uterine wall, serving as the functions of nutrition uptake, rest elimination, and gas exchange through mother's blood supply. Placenta averages 22 cm in length and 2 cm in thickness. It typically weighs approximately 500 grams. It connects to the fetus by umbilical cords of approximately 50 cm in length that contains two arteries and one vein. Umbilical cords insert into the coronary plate. The vessels branch out over the surface of the placenta and further divide to form a network covered by a thick layer of seed. These result into the formations of the villous tree structures. On the maternal side, these villous tree structures are grouped into the lobules called the cotyledons. Placenta grows throughout the pregnancy. Development of the maternal blood supply to the placenta is complete by the end of the first trimester of pregnancy. So, so with us, what do we need uh, for the procedure to examine our placenta? For placenta examination, we need a pair of gloves, a mm -hmm. small bucket with a lid, a mm -hmm. machine, and a comb. Firstly, we have to wash our hands, wear gloves, wear comb, and lay the placenta on the flat surface. Now, we are going to start with the placenta examination. We have to hold the placenta in the palm of the hand, facing the maternal face upright. And we have to uh, look for the cotyledons. And in this procedure, we have to keep in mind two things. That is, first one is inspection, second one is palpation. Mm -hmm. While inspecting for the maternal surface, we have to look for the globules. That one is cotyledon. If there are any uh, cotyledons missing, or there, if there is any holes, it indicates that it is really inside the uterus and it may later lead to postpartum hemorrhage. But in fact, for the maternal surface, um, normally it should be red and fleshy in color, but uh, in some cases it will be dark red and or it will be burnt like appearance, which is the indicative of infected placenta. Um, what is infected placenta solita? Uh, infected placenta it is mainly due to the insufficient blood supply to the placenta and it all uh, usually occurs in the hypertensive mothers. Mm -hmm. So next we have to palpate for the palpate the maternal side. In this if we have to see if there are any white spots. If there are any white spots we have to palpate the maternal surface and normally it should be soft, but in mm -hmm. some cases it will be hard and rough, which is indicative of the calcification. It occurs mostly during the term pregnancy and post-stage pregnancy. Alright, so term pregnancy and post-stage. Yes. Have to turn the placenta facing the uh, fetal side. Okay, so the fetal side now. Yes. The fetal side. And we have to assess for the shape, mm -hmm. size, and the color, and also the smell of the placenta. Okay, so when we are uh, saying shape, size, smell, and color, so how do you say that the placenta is normal in terms of shape, size, smell, and color? Usually, the normal shape of the placenta it should be this like, and the size it should be 20 centimeter average size, and the color it should be shiny, smooth, and the it should be pinkish in color, and the vessels inside the uh, should, it should be visible from the outside, right? And if there <coughs> are any uh, of the smell, it is indicative of infection. Okay. So the next step, lay the placenta on the flat surface. Okay. Access the length of the umbilical cord. Hmm. Uh, normally, the average length of the cord it is 50 to 55 centimeter. Mm -hmm. And in this, we have to inspect for the position of insertion of the coat on the placenta it should be uh, inserted in the center of the placenta mm -hmm. and the vessel it should diverge once it reaches the placenta okay so is there any kind of abnormal movement from the attachment of the uh, cord with the placenta yes there are 
the position of insertion of the cord, mm-hmm. uh, if it is around the margin of the placenta, it mm-hmm. is known as the battle door, which mm-hmm. is an abnormal placenta. Mm-hmm. And in some cases, the vessels of the umbilical cord, it will start diverging before it reaches the placenta, mm-hmm. and it is also known as the velamentous placenta. Okay, so it's velamentous uh, placenta. Yes. So the feet uh, diverges from above the placenta. Yes. Okay. I have one doubt. So what is this uh, dark, dark thing? Like it, looks like it looks like a pearl hanging on a tree. Uh, these are nothing but the, the, the blood clots. Yes. They will have inspect for the inspect the cut end of the cord. Mm-hmm. So there should be two arteries and one vein. Normally, uh, sometimes there might be one artery or there can be more than two arteries. Mm-hmm. So these are the indicators of the congenital birth defect of the baby. The next step, mm-hmm. we have to hold the placenta with one hand mm-hmm. and with the other, with other hand, we have to insert the hand inside the membrane and we have to look for the completeness of the membrane. Normally, there should be only one opening but in some cases there will be more than one opening so what does that indicate it indicates that the some parts of the memory it is written inside the uterus mm-hmm. which later it might lead to the postpartum hemorrhage so we have to inspect all the uh, whether the membranes are complete or not next step we have to weigh the placenta so is there any kind of set uh, weight for the placenta Yes, Norm, uh, the average weight for mm-hmm. placenta is 500 grams. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes it can be more than 500 grams or mm-hmm. it can be less than 500 grams. And after that, we have to discard according to the hospital protocol. Mm-hmm. Next step, we have to clean the articles. And after that, we have to remove and wash our hands and after that we have to document the abnormality That's all guys for placenta examination. Thank you for listening to us. I hope it was very informative for you all because it was for me too.